Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, C'est La Vie Dawn. So this video is a very late video and it is the 12 days of Christmas. So back in December, I think that it opened up in the uh, no end of November, closing date was in December. Rebecca from I Am Mama 24 did a 12 days of Christmas swap and she was partnering Americans with Americans and Canadians with Canadians just for shipping costs and only three Canadians signed up myself Rebecca herself and Tina Epp so Rebecca decided she was going to pull out and not enter the swap because there wasn't four so it was Tina and I put together for the swap. However, Tina and I got talking. We're like, that's not fair. How about we eat? We'll still do it with Rebecca. So Tina and I kept our 12 days together for, uh, for us. We kept it at 12. And then for Rebecca, I got her six things and Tina got her six things. We met up because we were going to the States anyway. And we got it... Uh, on a shopping trip we got it sent out to Rebecca and then Rebecca each sent us six things which I've done the videos for that I will link Rebecca's channel down below I am mama 24 uh, who hosted the swap so the day Tina and I met it was a very busy day because we were already going to the US we had to get all this done quickly get it mailed out and we both looked at each other and we're like, we're supposed to be doing this for ourselves too, right? We're like, oh, and she didn't bring her stuff. I didn't bring my stuff. And uh, we decided we were going to see each other a lot sooner. So we uh, ended up not mailing it because we had made plans. However, life happens, things happen. We haven't been able to get together until this past Saturday, and if you saw my video uh, with sh my Christmas slash friend mail from uh, Sheila McNabb, it was a family day weekend. My husband was away with my two older boys, so I wanted to do something with the two younger boys, and I took them to call Santi's because it was Tina had that idea, and I'm like, perfect, I need something to do. So we finally have our 12 days of Christmas swaps. Now, that being said, we opened everything at Tina's house before we went to call Santi's. I had my two busy, busy boys, and I could have mixed up some of my Christmas present with the 12 days. So if I did, Tina, I'm sorry. It'll all get shown, but I could be, I could be uh, a little wrong in some of the stuff. Now, the rules for the 12 days of Christmas challenge were you had to fill out a questionnaire. So if you decided to join, uh, Rebecca uh, sent you a questionnaire with all kinds of questions. Like one example was, are you a paper crafter or a sewer? One was, do you like makeup or nails? Those type of questions. Uh, so you filled out the questionnaire and then the two mandatory things were, so 12 items and the two mandatory things on top of the 12 items were a handmade card and an ornament. So I, if you guys want to see the video of what Tina and I sent, go check out Rebecca's challenge or um, Rebecca's page and it will be on there. I can link them if you're interested as well. Okay. So, first thing, my 12 days of Christmas stuff was in this gorgeous peacock box. And it is so funny because my mother-in-law has access to, she's in Sault Ste. Marie, Canada. She crosses over to Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan all the time. And she got me a bottle of wine for Christmas with this. So, I have the matching set and I'm so excited. So, this is going in my craft room. Is that... Is he not gorgeous? Peacocks are making a comeback. It was so hard for years to find stuff. He is gorgeous. So it's this gorgeous box. And inside is the 12 days. So I will show you the card first and then the ornament. So this is the card Tina made. It has these poinsettias. I, th I think they're poinsettias. Well, I'm going to call them that. That she's cut out. And it's a gatefold card. She's done. 
and that's how she's done it and she's got uh, ivy she's cut it with her big shot and then a season's greeting stamp I'm not gonna read the message so I absolutely love this card I love handmade cards it gives me ideas I love is that a die of yours to make that gatefold Tina these ladies have had their big shots a lot longer than me, so they have a lot more dies <laughs> and nicer ones. Okay, this is the handmade ornament. It was only supposed to be one, but she spoiled me. And I'm going to show you what they are, what she's made me. I'm going to keep that bag. Oh, and she's handmade this bag as well, I believe. And this was my first one, so... If any of my new subsubbies don't know, my favorite color is hot pink. So this is a glitter ornament. Did you do that glitter, Tina? I think she did. So inside it's glittered, my favorite color. Then she's put on these bling, my angle's not right today, these bling flowers. And then she's put on bling little stars. I absolutely love this and so it was one of the questions was uh, your tree colors and so I had said my tree colors but I also said I'm an anything goes for my tree because I have uh, we decorate red white and silver but I'm like my mom our tree is a family tree so whatever ornaments my kids have made me since they were little whatever ornaments people gift me it all goes on so I don't have a formal one color couple color tree and maybe down the road I would but uh, not when I have little ones home so um, yeah and then this is the other one this is so pretty so it is it's almost like the shape of a spoon if you look at like a big oval and then in its gold she's glittered it and then she's put oh, sorry guys my angles off I'm not usually recording on this angle today but the lighting wasn't right the other way so it's got a key with a, is it a button on top? It's all layered with a cameo lady with a hat on. Another bling here and then a brushed gold heart and it's all glittered and then it's tied on like this. Is that not gorgeous? I absolutely love this. I would hang this in my room on my trinket thing and I, I might with Sheila's wings. I have a little trinket stand I got at Dollarama that I was going to put in the craft room and I'm thinking it might just go on my dresser with my trinkets. <laughs> okay, now we're going to get right into this box. One of the questions was candles or essential oil and I picked both because I like both. So she got me this Simply Earth Happy Joy 100% essential oil and it smells so good you guys like it is totally a happy scent I absolutely love this so in this one it is geranium sweet orange grapefruit and ylang ylang I knew it had ylang ylang in it I remember saying that to the girls when I was there I'm like there's ylang ylang in that I know it because my boys don't like yeah ylang ylang I love it they don't like it Oh, I love the blend. I don't have a lot of blends because I bulk order my essential oils from New Direction. So uh, to have a blend, that's awesome. Thank you, Tina. And then another question was makeup or nails. I just picked nails. I like both. I don't really wear a lot of makeup daily. If I go out, absolutely. But like today, I just threw on some lip color just because I look washed. But check out this. She got me this. It's Trust Fun Beauty. By Lavernus, and it is a deep burgundy nail polish. It is so pretty. I actually am going to put that on when I get a chance. I have scouts tonight, so probably not tonight. Scouts tomorrow night because there's spaghetti dinner, but hopefully I'll get this on soon. I can't wear, uh, well, can't. I wear whatever I want, but I don't look good in this red, so I don't have red colors of nail polish this color. Burgundies, my skin tones can wear. And my last burgundy dried up and it wasn't even as dark as this one. It was from Avon, so I chucked it, but I'm so excited to put that on my nails and on my toes. So thank you, Tina. Then she made me another card, uh, not for 
the uh, like the card. She just made me one that I can give away. And she's got stamped handmade by Tina. Up. I think the other one does too, yeah. And it has the ivy and the flowers on top. And just it's just a card I can give out if I choose to. I probably will just display this in my craft room because, yeah, I love handmade stuff. She also made me a pocket letter as part of this. And look at this. It is so cute, you guys. So she's got this really pretty, pretty, I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm going to say material. And then she's put snowflake dangles, a Christmas tree dangle, two snowflakes in gold and silver and a Christmas tree. And then this is the pocket letter. And it is so pretty. So it, the one tag says rejoice. Holly Jolly Christmas, and it's just blinged right out. And then we've got Pink Santa over a pink tree, all layered. And then this one, we have a snowman with some candy canes. Let it snow with this beautiful ribbon. I haven't done pocket letters in a while. I need to get going on them again. This one is a Christmas tag. It says White Christmas. I put that, I, it's upside down. I, I flipped it when I was there. The kids were getting really anxious to go, get going. So when we were doing this, it was kind of getting really crazy there. So yeah, white Christmas with the big poinsettia behind. And then we have this bling sheet with the Christmas trees. Isn't that cute? And then this one, sorry about my lighting today, guys. It's a semi bright and semi not. So the clouds, if they come over, it's darker. And then this is a tag that says, all I want for Christmas is you. And she's put some ribbon and some presents on this pink paper. It's very vintagey looking. And then this one is a house with some ornaments and a bird on some, uh, is that a butterfly? Beautiful paper. And then we have a snowman, Merry Christmas snowflake. And she's put a hat on the snowman. And then this one is a house, oh, we did that one, sorry. Uh, another house over here, she's die cut out some branches in green, it says Jolly. And then on the bottom, she's used reindeer trim, that felt trim. And then down the side, she's used more trim in red and green. Isn't that beautiful? And I was saying that uh, three people have done this this Christmas where they're mixing all different color combinations together and yeah I need to do that so yeah so this was part of the 12 days from Tina I absolutely love it it's going in my binder I actually have to get another binder I've been cleaning up my craft room and all the pocket letters that I had been saving somewhere else I put in the binder and that binder is full so I'm upgrading the binder she also gave me some glitter and foil paper so you've all seen this if any of you uh, our Dollarama watchers. It's from there and it's gold and silver uh, foil. And then at the back, it's glitter and silver foil. So she got me two pads of that. So I love this stuff and I love those colors. Now, every again, everything was numbered, but it didn't even get open in number order. Just <laughs> the kids, it was funny. Okay, so this was the snowman bag. This would have been number five. And in it, wait till you see this. She made this, you guys. Well, she bought this, sorry. The towel was purchased, and then she has made, so it says, sit back and relax, and it's these seahorses. Isn't that beautiful? But what she's done is, she's a sewing lady, and she's made this so that it can sit over a bar. So it can sit in my bathroom over a bar. And then what I love about it, and I didn't tell you this the other day, Tina, just because it was so busy by the time we were doing this 12 days of Christmas, because we weren't sure if we should just open this on camera and wait. But then Sheila and the boys were like, just open it now. And then my one son, he was helping me open. Billy was helping Tina open. It was literally crazy busy. But Tina, my boys always pull the towels off the towel bar and I find them on the floor and then I'm doing way more laundry. So this way I can snap this in the bathroom 
on the towel bar and it's not going to go anywhere. So when my mom comes over and needs to dry her hands, because the boys would just use their pants or their shirts, my mom will have something to dry her hands on. Uh, I don't, sorry, I do use the main bathroom, but Mark, my husband and I, we have our own bathroom and I tend to use that one more. So I never notice if there's a towel missing. So yeah, so I am so excited, so thank you. And I love the, uh, the snap buttons. You have a snap press, Tina, you must. So yeah, so I love that. I was so excited. I forgot to tell you that day that you have no idea how needed that is in this house. Um, this was something, it's all come out, so. Okay, uh, another bag here. I love this bag anyways. It, uh, it's a mason jar bag. And in it was all these, there's going to be more in the bottom. This was number 12. In this was these uh, puffy elves and there's more. So there was the little boy and the little girl. I'll get to the more, they've, they've clearly fallen out. She also made me this beautiful tag flip, you guys. And it starts with peace. So we'll go this way first. Then we have the snowman, he's popped up. I went through these so, I think this is why everybody was getting restless because I just, they know, Sheila and even Tina were like, Dawn, you take such great detail when you look at stuff, but this video would be an hour long if I did it. So she's done a rosette, a gingerbread man, one of her stamps. Tina has shown us how she does these stamps in a video, so go check out her videos for anybody that's new. I will link Tina down below. I'm sure all of my subscribers are already subscribed. If you're not, definitely go check out my friend Tina. Yep, she does all kinds of crafting, junk journals. She is a crafting queen. So there's that one. There is this one with the gorgeous girl. Isn't she that cute? And she's colored that. Then we have this one with the purple flower. It's all blinged out with embellishments and flowers. And then we have a little baby reindeer, a snowflake, some bling up here, some washi. And then we have this one. She's done a wreath. I think it's a wreath with some material. Like it just, it gives me such great ideas. And this is such a good way to use up your stash, you guys, to make these. And if you saw my video, you'll see I have no excuse to not make tags now from Sheila, so Merry Christmas. Now let's flip it over and I'm gonna show you the other side. So this is the other side. So we got a little rocking horse. Then we have, oh, I didn't even notice that the other day. It's a little um, soldier and oh, my nails are so short, but I love acrylics when I have them on, but when they're off, my nails are horrible. So a little soldier up and down guy there. It says Holly Jolly. This is the second or third tag flip I've had from Tina. And then she's done a beautiful flower here and distressed it in that beautiful blue with a bling there. Then we have a, oh, a little angel she's colored that says peace. Then we have uh, this one with the wooden reindeer, some ribbon and some Nutcrackers. I said soldiers. I meant to say nutcrackers and it says love. I love this. I love nutcrackers. And we have and gingerbread. I love malt and gingerbread. I just love Christmas. And then we have another little reindeer with it says love banner. Some bells, Christmas, Merry Christmas. And then we start at the beginning and it says Merry Christmas. Oh no, wait. Did I show you those? No. Nope. Then we have these uh, like flowers, but they look like snowflakes because they're on snowflakes. And then two little angels. Not cute. Okay, there we go. And then I showed you that. So I just I just missed that one. So is that not gorgeous, you guys? So that was in my box from Tina. Then she got me this. Wait till you see this, you guys. It is. A paper pad but look at it look at the bling here look at this peacock this itself is art and needs to be framed <laughs> and you open it up like this and then it's a paper pad and look at they have him there and then on the back it's just this beautiful cardstock so 
I will use the paper pad and then I will come up with something for that. Is that not gorgeous or what? Then this one is said number nine at the time. Okay, Tina, I didn't open these on Saturday. We must have. So my son, one of my sons had the box and he's like, okay, we're done. Time to go. Let's go. And I didn't open these. So thank you so, so much. I did not see these the other day. So she's got me these Fiskars. Uh, they're the easy action scissors. So Rebecca had us fill out some crafty wishes and one of my wishes was fulfilled. This was on my wish list. Thank you so much, Tina. I'm like, I'm like looking in there and I'm like, that doesn't look like it was been open, but maybe we wrapped it up. <laughs> Surprises still. Thank you, Tina. And then there, here's those from that other bag back way back. Remember when I said I'd be back? So more nutcrackers some elves and then some trees so that was in one of my numbers and then this one says number eight it also doesn't look opened so this will be another surprise because i thought we opened everything oh no i didn't open this binder clips and their hearts and they're pink how fun look at that and pink love those thank you tina and <laughs> love it okay these are pink paisley uh, a lot of french stickers but look at this it says say la vie that is so awesome. So they're pink paisley word stickers and they're C'est la vie, K sera sera. I'm going to have to do something for my cousin Kristen with this. So my cousin Kristen, when she was little, when she couldn't settle down, my aunt would sing her K sera sera all the time. And it's become a, a thing with her. So I'm definitely going to make something that says case Ross Raw for my cousin Kristen. Ciao, Bella. Bravo. Oh, my goodness. I love this. Thank you. Surprises. I thought everything was opened. And lastly, for the 12 days of Christmas, which I'm going to completely do a separate video for this, you guys, because the video itself will take 20 minutes to get through. But I'm going to show you in this video, then hop to the next video when it comes out for the reveal of this. Okay, I like peacocks, most of you know that. I also collect Wizard of Oz, and I have for a long, long, long time. I collect the Hallmark ornaments for the Christmas trees. I don't put them up on our tree yet because someday I wanna get a silver tree. I'm going to make a yellow brick road tree skirt, and it's going to be all Wizard of Oz theme someday. Look at this. Tina does little golden books. And you guys wait for it. It is the Wizard of Oz little golden book junk journal. Okay? So, you guys have to tune in for the separate video of this because look at how thick this is. Yes, it's part of the 12 days, but if I show it now, I won't be able to do it justice. And you guys, I want to do this justice. Tina is so talented. Tina actually sells these on Etsy. If there's a certain one, uh, she takes orders and she'll do them for you and you uh, pay her via PayPal if you're an online customer. And I'll just show you. So it's it's a little golden book. It's called The Wizard of Oz. It was written... Okay, so I'll just go through it in another video because I'm just taking too long. But look at the edge she's done in this beautiful peacock fabric with a dangle. So please come back for the reveal of The Wizard of Oz Golden Book Junk Journal by my good friend Tina Epp. Stay tuned for this video. All right, you guys, thank you, 
Thank you, Rebecca, for hosting this challenge. I know we're late with this, but we did, we're friends, we knew, so it's just a little late coming up for you guys on YouTube. So go check out Tina's channel, you guys, and give her some love. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you in another video coming up. Take care.